This is the old and new Renault Capture Facelift Comparison Review, Design, Interior, Practicality, Spec, Price and Test Drive Demo. Let's start with Design. The French automaker has published the first images and information about the new Capture Facelift. The SUV has received a series of aesthetic novelties, and natural leather and chrome have completely disappeared from the offer, for reasons of sustainability. Capture is one of the most popular models in the Renault portfolio. Now, the B-segment SUV has received a facelift to further increase customer interest in the hexagon-based manufacturer's model. First of all, the front end has been completely revised and thus aligned with the brand's newest design language. We have full LED headlights as standard, new daytime running lights, the latest Renault logo and a redesigned spoiler. Then the rims can be between 17 and 19 inches in size. At the rear, the taillights have retained the C-shape, but have a revised design. Then, the tailgate integrates the new Renault logo. The exterior color palette includes six shades, Arctic White, Oyster Gray, Diamond Black, Ceramic Gray, Iron Blue and Flame Red. Customers also have the option of ordering their new Capture facelift in a two-tone exterior theme where the headliner and door mirrors are painted in diamond black. Then we also have a 1.0-liter engine, gasoline plus LPG, 100 HP, 170 newton meters and the same six-speed manual gearbox. The offer continues with the 1.3-liter mild hybrid unit, available in two power versions, 140 or 160 horsepower. The second comes equipped with an EDC automatic transmission. Last but not least, we have the E-Tech full hybrid engine with a 1.6-liter engine, two electric units and a 1.2 kWh battery. In total, the assembly offers 145 horsepower and 205 newton meters. For an even more dynamic behavior, Renault engineers revised the geometry of the suspension, as well as the steering calibration. The market launch of the new Renault Capture facelift is scheduled for the third quarter of 2024. Top Equipment Level Esprit Alpine The first three equipment levels are available with four types of rims, 216-inch, Extreme and Adventure, and 217-inch, Emotion and Explore. Capture facelift can be highly customized. It has two new color shades, Atacama Orange and Ocean Blue, but also a distinct color for the roof, Platinum Gray. As with other Renault models, the Esprit Alpine trim level replaces the old RS line and becomes the top trim level. The other trim levels are Evolution and Techno. Renault has not changed the interior much. It should be noted, however, that the new Capture facelift has a larger 10.4-inch central display, and the largest digital instrument cluster you can tick is 10.25 inches. In total there are over 30 personalization combinations, while the interior also has 6 personalization possibilities. The OpenR-Link multimedia system runs the Android Automotive 12 operating system, and the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connection is wireless as standard. Of course, being an Android-based operating system, customers have access to the most popular Google applications, including Google Maps. Without natural leather and chrome, genuine leather has been completely removed from the offer. The chrome elements also suffered the same fate, for reasons of sustainability. Also, the range of upholstery has been expanded, and the Esprit Alpine equipment level brings more sportiness to the passenger compartment. The interior storage spaces total 24.7 liters. The volume of the trunk is 536 liters, but by folding down the seat, 1,334 liters are obtained. As for the range of engines, the new Renault Capture facelift can be ordered with a 1.0-liter petrol engine, 90 HP, 160 Nm and manual transmission with 6 ratios.